Hey there, dating masses. Michael here with idateadvice.com. Today's topic, a little bit on knowing when to dump your girlfriend. You may be sitting there laughing because you're either at the point where you're ready to dump her or you maybe just came across this video randomly and you think it's funny. Whatever it is, this is valuable knowledge here, so listen up closely. If you're watching this video, the odds that you're dealing with, the odds are that you're dealing with a delicate situation. Remember, relationships fail for all sorts of reasons. Sometimes it's your fault being the guy, sometimes it's not. Girls can be brutal. Let's discuss some reasons that you may want to dump your girlfriend and just move on. Number one, she's too demanding. If she's demanding anything from you, and I know I'm gonna get a lot of pushback about this, but if she's demanding things of you, it's not healthy. If it's something you should be doing, then open your eyes, you should be doing it. But if she's too demanding and let's say wants you to change who you are to better facilitate your relationship or make her happy, if she's asking you to change, it's not reasonable. Number two, she's not supportive. If your girlfriend doesn't support your ideas, if she's one of the people in your life that puts down your ideas or adventures that you get excited about, if you find that she's not supporting your excitement, whatever that means for you, then she might not be a healthy partner for you. Relationships are supposed to be a support for each other so that you can be the best possible version of you that you can be. And if that person who's closest to you is not on board with your excitement and is not happy for you and supportive of you, then she's not right for you. Number three, does she complain too much? Girls have a tendency to want to complain naturally. Guys do too, also to an extent, but I see it more with women. Sometimes what women will do in a relationship is they do what's called transferring the best friend status. They'll go from a best friend who they spend a lot of time with, who's usually a girl, to you who they're now spending most or all of their time with. Um, and they'll try to emotionally transfer and open up to you. And for them, it means that they dump a lot on you. So if she's complaining a lot about her daily routine, vocalize that back to her. Number four, she might be a little bit too clingy. Um, if you've never had a very open, healthy relationship where you're both able to grow and prosper, maybe you don't come from that, you may cling to the first person who offers that to you and treats you well. If she is clingy, just again, kind of like, just express that to her. Number five, she is a, an emotional roller coaster. I dated girls like this, and one in particular who I won't mention for obvious reasons, but uh, it's not healthy to have your emotions kind of like all over the place, fluctuate constantly throughout the day, throughout the week, throughout the month. You don't want to be with somebody who doesn't know how to control their emotions. That's essentially what's at the root of this issue, and it's a big one. So emotional roller coaster, I tend to stay away from it. It's not really, you know, it's more than it's it's more of a headache than it's worth, so to speak. But by all means, maybe that's something you want. Um, but number six, and most importantly, the other ones were half jokingly, half serious, but number six, totally serious. If she makes you feel bad, if she makes you feel uninspired, if she makes you feel unloved, get out of there. It's not a good situation for you. You know, not everyone is for everyone. If she doesn't make you feel good and uplifted and inspired, then she's just not right for you. You're gonna wanna dump her. You'll know when enough is enough. The hard part is knowing when to break it off. But trust me, once you do, you'll feel a huge weight lifted off your shoulders. And once you dump her and get out of the relationship, be strong. No matter what you feel following the breakup, don't give in. You only have so many days to live. Don't waste them loving someone who doesn't do the same for you. You're not doing them any favors. All right, dating masses, thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to get a new dating advice video each and every week. We welcome your questions and comments and as always, we reply absolutely free. See you next time, bye-bye.